Advanced Placement Computer Science A also called App Comp Sci, App Comp Sci A, APCS, or App Java is an app computer science course and examination offered by the College Board to high school students as an opportunity to earn college credit for a college-level computer science course. App Computer Science A is meant to be the equivalent of a first semester course in computer science. The app exam currently tests students on their knowledge of Java. App Computer Science AB, which was equivalent to a full year, was discontinued following the May 2009 exam administration. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Course content. App Computer Science emphasizes object-oriented programming methodology with an emphasis on problem solving and algorithm development. It also includes the study of data structures and abstraction, but these topics were not covered to the extent that they were covered in App Computer Science AB. The Microsoft-sponsored program Technology Education and Literacy in Schools TEALS aims to increase the number of students taking app computer science classes. Topics covered by the course include Object-oriented program design Program design Read and understand a problem's description, purpose, and goals. Specify the purpose and goals for a problem, A, B only Apply data abstraction and encapsulation. Read and understand class specifications and relationships among the classes. Is a has a relationships. Decompose a problem into classes, define relationships and responsibilities of those classes, a b only. Understand and implement a given class hierarchy. Identify reusable components from existing code using classes and class libraries. Class design Design and implement a class. Design and implement a set of interacting classes. A B only Design an interface. Choose appropriate data representation and algorithms. Choose appropriate advanced data structures and algorithms, A B only. Apply functional decomposition. Extend a given class using inheritance. Program implementation Implementation techniques Methodology Object-oriented development Top-down development Encapsulation and information hiding Procedural abstraction Programming constructs Primitive types vs objects Declaration Constant declarations Variable declarations Class declarations Interface declarations Method declarations Parameter declarations Console output system dot out dot print slash print and closing parenthesis control methods sequential conditional iterations recursion Java library classes included in the A or AB level app Java subset program analysis testing Test classes and libraries in isolation Identify boundary cases and generate appropriate test data Perform integration testing Debugging Categorize errors, compile time, runtime, logic Identify and correct errors Techniques, user debugger, add extra output statements, hand trace code Understand and modify existing code Extend existing code using inheritance Understand error handling Understand runtime exceptions Throw runtime exceptions Reason about programs Preconditions and postconditions Assertions Invariants Analysis of algorithms Informal comparisons of running times 
Exact calculation of statement execution counts Big O notation AB only. Worst case and average case time and space analysis AB only. Numerical representations and limits Representations of numbers in different bases Limitations of finite representations e.g. Integer bounds, imprecision of floating point representations, and round off error. Standard data structures, simple data types, int, boolean, double classes, one dimensional arrays, two dimensional arrays, linked lists, singly, doubly, circular, AB only, stacks, AB only, queues, AB only. Trees AB only, heaps AB only, priority queues AB only, sets AB only, maps AB only, standard algorithms, operations on data structures listed above, traversals, insertions, deletions, iterators AB only. Searching Sequential Binary Hashing AB only Sorting Selection Insertion Merge sort Quicksort AB only Heap sort AB only Computing in context Major hardware components Primary and secondary memory Processors Peripherals System software Language translators, compilers Virtual machines Operating systems Types of systems Single-user systems Networks Responsible use of computer systems System reliability Privacy Legal issues and intellectual property Social and ethical ramifications of computer use <laughs> Case studies and labs Historically, the app exam used several programs in its free response section to test students' knowledge of object-oriented programs without requiring them to develop an entire environment. These programs were called case studies. This practice was discontinued as of the 2014–15 school year and replaced with optional labs that teach concepts. Topic: <laughs> Case studies discontinued. Case studies were used in app computer science curriculum starting in 1994. Topic: Big Integer Case Study, 1994 to 2000. The Big Integer Case Study was in use prior to 2000. It was replaced by the Marine Biology Case Study. Topic: <laughs> Marine Biology Case Study, 2000 to 2007. The Marine Biology Case Study was a program written in C++ until 2003, then in Java, for use with the A and AB examinations. It served as an example of object-oriented programming embedded in a more complicated design project than most students had worked with before. The case study was designed to allow the College Board to quickly test a student's knowledge of object-oriented programming ideas such as inheritance and encapsulation while requiring students to understand how objects such as the environment, the fish, and the simulation's control module interact with each other without having to develop the entire environment independently, which would be quite time-consuming. The case study also gives all students taking the app computer science exams with a common experience from which to draw additional test questions. 
on each of the exams, at least one free response question was derived from the case study. There were also five multiple choice questions that are derived from the case study. This case study was discontinued from 2007, and was replaced by Gridworld. <laughs> Gridworld case study 2008 Gridworld is a computer program case study written in Java that was used with the app Computer Science Program from 2008 to 2014. It serves as an example of object-oriented programming Gridworld succeeded the Marine Biology Simulation case study, which was used from 2000 to 2007. The Gridworld framework was designed and implemented by K. Horstman, based on the Marine Biology Simulation case study. The narrative was produced by Chris Neverson and Barbara Cloud Wells, Colgate University. The Gridworld case study was used as a substitute for writing a single large program as a culminating project. Due to obvious time restraints during the exam, the Gridworld case study was provided by the College Board to students prior to the exam. Students were expected to be familiar with the classes and interfaces and how they interact before taking the exam. The case study was divided into five sections, the last of which was only tested on the AB exam. Roughly five multiple choice questions in section I were devoted to the Gridworld case study, and it was the topic of one free response question in section 2. Gridworld has been discontinued and replaced with a set of labs for the 2014–2015 school year. Actors The Gridworld case study employs an actor class to construct objects in the grid. The actor class manages the object's color, direction, location, what the object does in the simulation, and how the object interacts with other objects. Actors are broken down into the classes, flower, rock, bug, and critter, which inherit the actor class and often override certain methods, most notably the act method. Flowers can't move, and when forced to act, they become darker. Flowers are dropped by bugs and eaten by critters. Rocks are also immobile and aren't dropped or eaten. Bugs move directly ahead of themselves, unless blocked by a rock or another bug, in which case the bug will make a 45-degree turn and try again. They drop flowers in every space they occupy, eat flowers that are directly on their space of grid, and are consumed by critters. Critters move in a random direction to a space that isn't occupied by a rock or other critter and consume flowers and bugs. Extensions The case study also includes several extensions of the above classes. Boxbig extends bug and moves in a box shape if its root is not blocked. Chameleon critter extends critter and does not eat other actors, instead changing its color to match the color one of its neighbors. Crab critter moves left or right and only eats actors in front of it, but otherwise extends the critter class. Students often create their own extensions of the actor class. Some common examples of student-created extensions are warden organisms and SimCity-like structures, in which objects of certain types create objects of other types based on their neighbors much like Conway's Game of Life. Students have even created versions of the game's Pac-Man, Fire Emblem, and Tetris. Known issues the version that is available at the College Board website, Gridworld 1.00, contains a bug not to be confused with the actor subclass bug that causes a security exception to be thrown when it is deployed as an applet. This was fixed in the "...unofficial code," release on the Gridworld website. Also, after setting the environment to an invalid bounded grid, it will cause a nullpointer exception. Topic. Labs Instead of the discontinued case studies, the College Board created three new labs that instructors are invited to use, but they are optional and are not tested on the exam. 
There are no question on the specific content of the labs on the app exam, but there are questions that test the concepts developed in the labs. The three labs are The Magpie Lab The Elevens Lab The Picture Lab App test Topic History The app exam in computer science was first offered in 1984. Before 1999, the app exam tested students on their knowledge of Pascal. From 1999 to 2003, the exam tested students on their knowledge of C++ instead. Since 2003, the App Computer Science exam has tested students on their knowledge of computer science through Java. Topic: <laughs> Format. The exam is composed of two sections, formally consisting of the following times: Section I, multiple choice, one hour and fifteen minutes for forty multiple choice questions. Section II, free response, one hour and forty-five minutes for four problems involving extended reasoning. As of 2015, however, the multiple choice section was extended by 15 minutes, while the free response section was reduced by 15 minutes for the following. Section I, multiple choice, one hour and thirty minutes for forty multiple choice questions. Section two, free response, one hour and thirty minutes for four problems involving extended reasoning. Topic: <laughs> Grade distributions for App Computer Science. In the 2014 administration, 39,278 students took the exam. The mean score was a 2.96 with a standard deviation of 1.55. The grade distributions since 2003 were <laughs> App Computer Science AB Topic. Course content The discontinued App Computer Science AB course included all the topics of App Computer Science A, as well as a more formal and a more in-depth study of algorithms, data structures, and data abstraction. For example, binary trees were studied in App Computer Science AB but not in App Computer Science A. The use of recursive data structures and dynamically allocated structures were fundamental to App Computer Science AB. Due to low numbers of students taking the App Computer Science AB exam, it was discontinued after the 2008 2009 year. Grade distributions for App Computer Science AB The App Computer Science AB examination was discontinued as of May 2009. The grade distributions from 2003 to 2009 are shown below. See also Computer Science Glossary of Computer Science